Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holtz here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm, I'm lone wolf in it today. I ain't got nobody. I ain't got nobody. Nobody here to rudely interrupt me. I, I, you know, Mike, I think is he's under that spell. He's gone on the weekends now. I'll have nobody. And I'm headed to the dump. Got to get rid of some of this trash and stuff and cleaning up. You know, as uh, Eminem would say, cleaning out my closet. Well, I'm cleaning out my workshop. Trying to get it in a much better state. To make it easier to do more work and stuff. And I've been working in there painting... Uh, all these tro uh, Joe Bardis and uh, racks and all that stuff. I gotta try and get caught up and get ahead because Christmas is around the corner, and uh, I want to make sure I have all that stuff ready to go. So, um, interesting thing, you know, we keep hearing all these great trade things. The Cowboys should do this. The Cowboys should trade for that. You know, uh, to get extra firepower for a run, guys. I want you to understand something. The Cowboys have latent energy. You know what latent energy is? Latent meaning it's energy that has yet to reach its potential. Kinetic means that that energy is being used. We have latent energy that's ready to be kinetic. You're like, what are you talking about? Science class, science. Here's the thing for the Dallas Cowboys. What you have to understand is, you know, as you start thinking about, we should trade for Von Miller, or we should go for Ingram, and things like that. Guys, we have so much latent energy that is waiting to get back up on the field. Understand the Dallas Cowboys difference this year is not about one or two great players. This is the New England philosophy of multiple players. You can have one guy who's at the pinnacle, the best in the business here, right? Or you can have three or four guys that collectively have more potential than the one. You understand? This goes back to when I was talking about how the Dallas Cowboys offense probably won't produce of skilled players a lot of Pro Bowlers. Why? Because you have Amari Cooper getting a whole lot. You got CeeDee Lamb getting a whole lot. You got Zeke running and Tony Pollard. That their numbers aren't at the top as individuals, but collectively, they're the number one offense. The same holds true for the defense. And here's where everybody keeps saying, we gotta go out and get this guy. This week, we got Tristan Hill, who's young, you know, coming back from his ACL injury. It's possible that he plays some in Minnesota. And understand that, I, I don't know if he will or will not, he, like I said, he's only had a few practices under his belt but he's getting close to being back. And when you put a guy like that, who was actually beginning to start showing some potential last year before the ACL injury, when you put him in the rotation, he's not going to be, you know, uh, Vita Bay by himself. But when you have him in the rotation and then you're getting back Navelle Gallimore, and let's say you're playing each of those guys 20 snaps as opposed to 60, they're going to have the sum total of the production of the two of them greater than an individual. They'll be fresh, they'll be ready to roll, they'll be hungry because they want to fight to get more playing time. And I don't think you guys realize how good Navelle Gallimore was last year. Navelle Gallimore trucked Pro Bowl 
center, Mike Pouncey, on his way to Ben Roethlisberger's ass. If we can get those two guys alone, just those two guys right there, playing what they did last year, or maybe a little bit better, what you're adding to that defensive line is huge. It's huge. Now, add to that at some point, you don't have to be in a rush for Demarcus Lawrence. Demarcus Lawrence, when he comes back, because we have all these parts, doesn't have to be an every down guy. You can bring him back slowly, you can give other guys a blow, and you can make them more effective because they will wear down the opposition. So imagine, if you will, that you got a rotation of, say, six interior defensive linemen. You got your Carlos Watkins, your Brett Urban, your Tristan Hill, your um, Navelle Gallimore, that's going through rotating against the offensive line. They will wear the other teams down. And in the same breath, you end up having that same kind of rotation with Demarcus Lawrence and Micah Parsons. You know, that we're going to get better, stronger as a defense. And the key here, as opposed to going out and saying, we got to get somebody new. These guys are already in the building and already understand what we are trying to do as a defense and because they're already vested in the Dallas Cowboys organization and wanting to be here and trying to stake their claim and being hungry because they don't have that we just traded for Yvonne Miller contract where we're tied up for you know some years with a big contract we get guys that are trying to stake their claim to stay with the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. And that's what you want to have as an organization. We have so much latent energy that wants to get kinetic. We don't need anybody else. When you look at this team and you think about the players that are coming back versus other teams, we literally have, in some positions, guys that could be starting on other teams as backups. Lyle Collins. We had people who wanted to trade for um, Connor McGovern. You want to keep that latent energy ready to become kinetic energy. Yeah. I feel good about it. I'm not looking to make trades for anybody right now. I'm good with what the Dallas Cowboys have. They have a good rotation of players. How you doing? I'm kicking, man. Uh, I woke up this morning and I'm alive, so that's a good day. Yeah. Uh, just mostly uh, scrap wood and trash, Nothing, everything burnable. How many bags? Uh, probably five in there. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Okay. Side, paying here at the dump. Um, so yeah, uh, it feels good to me with what we have, and I'm hoping that it all comes together going down the stretch, because I think we might actually see a Dallas Cowboys defense that could be real special. Thank you, have a good one. That could be really, really special. And right now, <laughs> I'm going to go take a look at the rest of the NFC East here at the dump. I'm Mark Holmes, and I hope you are having a great Saturday. It is time to get ready for our all day, all day into the night live stream. It's going to be busy. So, got to get the game day eats. Got to get the studio set up. Got to get the leaves out of the deck. Got to get some extra. What the heck are you doing? Why are you sitting cockeyed like this? Uh, got to get the leaves off the deck. Make sure I got plenty of propane for the heaters because it's going to get chilly. And uh, that's what we do. Peace.